Pennsylvania. My name is Barry Kilmer, and that was Jessica and Isaac. We are from Bridgewater Church, with campuses located in Northeast Pennsylvania and the southern tier of New York. I love that song. It is a song that speaks to our future hope, and when I hear it, it just brings me joy. When I go through a challenging or frustrating time, one of the things that helps me get through those events is picturing what the result will look like in the end. When I was young, my grandfather would often take my brothers and I to his cottage for work days because we were free labor. It was frustrating to drive in, see the lake, and know that there wouldn't be any time to enjoy it because we would be working. In the midst of this cruel and unusual punishment, I clung to the fact that once the day was over, our grandfather would stop at an ice cream stand and we would get whatever we wanted. The mere thought of that ice cream stop at the end of the day just kept us going. When we are in a difficult season, focusing on the ultimate good that is coming can help keep us on track. Romans 8.18 says this, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed to us. Paul was reminding the Roman believers that when things get difficult, they could hang on to the truth that nothing they faced in life could compare to what it will be like when they were in the presence of God. This is a promise that our family held on to as we went through a very difficult time. We have Romans 8.18 engraved on our son's gravestone. As a reminder to us that nothing we went through with our son would compare to what God would reveal to us one day. So whether you're going through a health crisis, you've lost your job, a loved one, or your marriage is struggling, I want to assure you that your present suffering is not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed to us on the day that we will fly away. God, I thank you so much of the promises that you've given us in Scripture. You've told us that there are going to be seasons in life where we will face difficulty, hardships, afflictions. But you've also promised us that you'll be everything that we need, that you'll be there for us, that we can hang on and trust you. God, for those here today that are listening, I pray that they would be encouraged by this verse, that nothing that they are facing in this life will ever compare will ever be worthy of being compared to what it's going to be like when we're with you. Thank you for that hope. I pray that we can hang on to that today. We ask this in your son's name. Amen. I hope you have a great day.